Yeah, lethal bizzle there. I oh, know, double lethal bizzle. It's just because you love it too much. Or is it because I love it too much? Hmm? Who me? I'm Oliver Enjoy Francis. Um, a list of Cherry Key. They, I do 9 to 12 and my show is called The No Nonsense Show. And I just introduce records. I don't do no interviews. I just play music. On any shout outs or requests, you know the number 07596277003. As I said on Tuesday, that should be saved now. That should be like a hotline for everyone. Yeah, I'm one of the founders of Inspiration. We've been going since 1996. And um, we were pirate before, before we come to the mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a multicultural radio station caters for everybody. Yeah, so and I love doing it. It's voluntary. You don't get paid. We do it because we love it. <laughs> and I love music. So I've been into music since I was at knee height. <laughs> Make me laugh now. I'm gonna blush. Hello there, I'm Paddy Grady, I'm the lunchtime presenter here at Inspiration FM. You all volunteer, that's the, that's the nice thing about it. Everybody volunteers. So it's not as though it's um, a paid job that you are forced to get up and go to work as such. Mm -hmm. um, I've done jobs on uh, Radio Northampton and at times they tend to think, you know, it's like a real job, oh God, you know, at work today. Whereas <laughs> I don't think you get that with volunteers, you know, they're looking forward to coming and doing their, doing their stuff. Yeah. They're definitely important because it brings the community closer together, obviously you've got a lot of things going on where people can share information a lot more easier through the radio. So if there's something going on in a local park where it's to do with charity events or whatnot, then it's easier for them to come to the show or come to the station, have a word with one of the production teams and get our voice to cross the radio. Um, my name is DJ Mkukwini. I'm a radio presenter and a DJ on uh, Inspiration in FM. My name is Martin Kelly and I am the presenter of the student show on Inspiration FM. I do the African show. Uh, whereby I play um, all the African sounds, uh, anything from Africa and uh, on my show we discuss about all the issues that affect uh, Africans in the UK and um, we get people phoning in sometimes just talking about, we just pick up a topic and then uh, we talk about it and uh, we get some help as well from uh, some law firm uh, BHP they give us one of their solicitors to help us, especially with the immigration issues that um, our listeners have got. The Sun, despite what was being said yesterday, bringing back uh, those photos of uh, topless women on page three. Haven't got a clue what they're on about. N never noticed that in my life. Anyway, so I'm MGM, aka Marlon, and I'm part of the inspiration team. Because inspiration, isn't it? He's a real active member in the community as well. I just wanted to give something back. I had a lot of time on my hands, so I thought I'd put it to good use. What I do, I enjoy music and I like sharing what music's about, really. Um, I started off as a producer for another show called um, Urban Mix Show with Lady K. Big shout out to Lady K. <laughs> You're listening to MGM on Inspiration FM. So many different communities that I've met that I wouldn't necessarily meet if I was just hanging around with my mates. So I've met a lot of people from the Afro-Caribbean community, the Sikh community, um, Zim women, I never even know they existed in Northampton, but I do now, I'm very good friends with them. I've made a lot of friends, I've seen a lot of things. I've got to interview from some famous people as well, but I'd never get that opportunity in my life to interview people like that. So yeah, I think it's a, a good way to bring the community together. What's up the Storm Queen? Uh? Build your skills from it as well, do you know what I mean? Like, two, three hours a day just to improve, improve your confidence as well. Definitely 
give it a go. It's not necessarily going to be for you, because we get a lot of people that come and volunteer and they, they don't realise that there's a lot of commitment into it. But give it a go. You never know until you try and I think it's very, very rewarding. Helping the, you are helping the community.